Welcome to your City of Greensboro Weekly Flash Briefing. The City of Greensboro is the recipient of an Economic Adjustment Assistance Grant in the amount of $100,000. The funds are from the U.S. Department of Commerce's Economic Development Administration. This will allow the city to perform a land use study on the portion of the U.S. Highway 421 corridor in Guilford County. The study will investigate existing and future use of properties located along the corridor to provide the city with the necessary information to ensure the availability of adequate infrastructure, public services, and other resources required to support economic development, such as the Toyota Battery Manufacturing Plant. Additionally, the study will identify nearby sites considered suitable to serve as locations for supply and support businesses to the Greensboro, Randolph Megaside and other companies in the region. In December of 2021, the Greensboro City Council authorized matching the grant up to $100,000. The city is currently installing water and sewer infrastructure to the Greensboro, Randolph Megasite for the Toyota plant. The Greensboro Police Department invites the community to use its secure medication collection boxes as a safe way to dispose of unwanted or expired medications. For convenient access, the secure collection boxes are located in the lobby of the following GPD substations. Police headquarters at 100 Police Plaza is open 24-7. District 3 substation at 300 South Swing Road is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And District 4 substation at 1105 Maple Street is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Items that can be dropped in GPD collection boxes include EpiPens, patches, prescription pills and capsules, as long as they are zippered in plastic bags, loose pills cannot be dropped off. To anonymously report the sale or use of illegal street drugs, contact Crime Stoppers at 336-373-1000. Greensboro Transit Agency will resume its transit partnership with Guilford County Schools for the upcoming school year. As a follow-up to the successful launch earlier this year addressing a school bus operator shortage, Free access will be available for all GCS students with a focus on students attending Dudley, Grimsley, Page, and Smith High Schools, as well as the Academy at Smith. Students who live or attend school along GTA's 19 daily routes can use the system as an additional school attendance option for attending classes or after-school activities. Guilford County Schools is providing enhanced support for the transit services with an upgrade of the student's one card to ensure compatibility with GTA's payment system. To provide students and parents an introduction to the public transportation system, GTA hosted two events called Get to Know GTA. This included a tour of a GTA transit bus and a free ride along on the routes serving the four high schools. For more information about this service for Guilford County School students, visit GTA's website. Governor Roy Cooper appointed Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn to the North Carolina Local Government Employees Retirement System Board of Trustees. The board provides benefits to employees of cities, towns, counties, boards, commissions, and other entities of local government in North Carolina. Because participation by local governments is voluntary, the operation of this board depends on the acceptance and continuing financial support of the governing bodies and employees of local governments. The Board of Trustees is made up of 13 members, including eight members representing local governments. The group meets every three months in Raleigh. The next meeting is scheduled for 9 a.m. on Thursday, October 27th. This concludes the weekly flash briefing for the City of Greensboro. For in-depth news, tune in to FYI Weekly on Greensboro Television Network on Spectrum, AT&T, North State, and Roku. Keep up with the latest city news on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Be sure to download our weekly podcast, Talk City Greensboro, and Connect GSO. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for our next flash briefing.